Supervision of Technologists with Fluoroscopy Permits. It is the responsibility of the X-ray supervisor to ensure that all technologists under his or her jurisdiction possess proper, up-to-date, and valid authorizations, meaning radiologic technologist fluoroscopy permits, issued by the State of California Department of Health Services. Title 17 defines fluoroscopy to mean a radiological examination utilizing fluorescence for the observation of the transient image. Since there are restrictions as to the scope of a certificate or permit, it is the X-ray supervisor and operator responsibility to ascertain that no technologist works out of scope of his or her certificate and permit. Supervision is defined as the responsibility for and control of radiation protection and safety, including use of properly maintained and registered X-ray equipment, the technologist's performance, the use of state-authorized technologists only, and quality and technical aspects of all X-ray examinations and procedures. It is the fluoroscopy supervisor and operator's responsibility to ensure competence of all radiologic technologists under their jurisdiction and comply with all of the following. Know exactly which examination to make before making an exposure. Clear the fluoroscopy room of all non-essential persons prior to generating x-rays. Collimate the useful x-ray beam to the area of clinical interest. Use gonadal shielding where appropriate and applicable. Use correct technique factors, optimum KV, and lowest MA possible for low-dose fluoroscopy consistent with obtaining a diagnostic quality image. Position the patient correctly for the requested examination before making the actual exposure, and take steps to avoid patient motion by carefully instructing patients not to move, using appropriate immobilization or positioning aids, and by keeping the patient comfortable under constant observation. Direct supervision means that the supervisor is observing the performance of the technologist and can verbally instruct the technologist what to do or not to do. Indirect supervision means the supervisor is readily available for direct supervision. And positioning means aligning the x-ray tube, anatomical part, and image receptor for a specific purpose. Direct and indirect supervision requirements. Under direct supervision, holders of technologist fluoroscopy permits may use fluoroscopy equipment only as instructed by the supervisor, for procedures for which they have been specifically trained. Under indirect, immediate, and personal supervision, holders of technologist fluoroscopy permits may use fluoroscopy equipment for spot filming or video recording procedures for which the technologist has been specifically trained. Let's talk about technologist performance and restriction requirements. Holders of technologist fluoro permits shall comply with the following. Perform all the assigned duties correctly and conscientiously. Wear a lead apron and a personnel monitoring device outside the apron on the collar during fluoroscopy. Not hold either patient or image receptor during the exposure. Follow standing orders and repeat spot film exposure policies. Know what views are required and position patients correctly both for fluoroscopy and or spot film imaging and use optimum radiographic techniques. Technologist restrictions. Technologists who perform fluoroscopic procedures are prohibited from the following. Performing fluoroscopic procedures without a specific order from a supervisor. Using fluoroscopic equipment without written standing orders and repeat spot film policies. Making a diagnosis based on a fluoroscopy image or any radiograph and reporting any diagnosis to a patient unless they specifically were ordered by a licensure of the healing arts to. Technologist fluoroscopy clinical instruction. The supervisor also has a responsibility to offer a competency-based, supervised clinical instruction and education, which shall be completed within one year following the completion of the didactic instruction.